You know what time it is? It's time for me to A your cues so freaking hard. This might look familiar. I did my first Q&A here in this outfit like a year ago. I'm going to make this video probably a video response to that so I'm not answering the same questions because absolutely nothing has really changed besides for probably the width of my eyebrows and the amount of hair I have on my chest. Are you ready for this? Once upon a time, in a magical cornfield far, far away, called Ohio, a beautiful nurse and a very handsome doctor without pants on gave birth to a very bizarre creature named Courtney Sandra Pants. Although, Pants is not her surname. She wishes it was. The date was June 10th, 1990, which now makes her 2022... 22... 22 years old. As a child... Oh, I like that picture. As a child, she had many hopes and dreams. She wanted to play in the NFL, be the first white member of Destiny's Child. She wanted to be a dolphin, which is just silly caca, and a chef. The biggest dream of all was she wanted to be an actress. She still kind of has that dream, although she cannot act very well at all. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this book is just distracting. I'm going to start answering questions. I'm going to my Twitter first. Are we still here? Are, is everyone good? I'm not. Okay. Shy Vani asks, in what class did you nervous fart the most? Oh my gosh, I sharded in so many classes. By the way, math, nervous sharts, sharding everywhere. I hate math. Oh my gosh, your math and science just... Yeah. Get away from me. We were going over math problems and I was with my best friend and I farted and it was obvious that it came out of my bum hole. So obvious and I blamed it on her and oh god I was so embarrassed because it was my favorite teacher. You don't want to fart in front of your favorite teacher and my teacher knew it was me and I was scolded for blaming it on my friend. Own up to your farts. I can't believe I would do that. Who was I back then? Be loud. Be proud of your farts. Hank Green. Hank Green, I love you. John Green's my favorite author. Hank Green is my favorite Hank or Chiff. What's the biggest challenge you're facing right now? Oh my gosh. I guess right now is probably staying positive with a number of different things, but overall just in life. Just staying positive with life. Um... You know, things keep dragging me down, things drag everyone down. It's hard to maintain a positive outlook on life when things aren't really going your way. And people are asking, how do you stay so positive? The power of poopty poopty. I'm not the most positive pooper out there, but honestly, this is gonna sound like cheesy Mac, but I remind myself of how lucky I am. When I'm running outside, I'm telling myself, you are so lucky right now. Other people are probably working, dying, like there's so many problems in this world and you get to be running. You get to be running. Like that's amazing. Retrospect, you know, look at the big scale and where you are in life and you are truly lucky. You are truly blessed. Andy asks, what is your favorite Disney movie or character? My favorite character is probably the Pope that pops a boner in My Little Mermaid. My Little Mermaid, The Little Mermaid. No, but a Pope did pop a boner. Austin Powers. I love Austin Powers. That's not a Disney movie or character. Shagadelic, baby. I love Aladdin. Who doesn't? I mean, I've revealed this several times. Probably the fact that I talk about it so much is a little bit creepy, but he's a sexy thief. And you know, well, thief, he, he really just samples a lot. He's a grazer, like me. We could go to Costco together. It'd be so magical. Fiery asks, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, would you do me? Wow, that's a good question. If my butternut squash was bigger than yours, would you do me? Now that's the question. Ponder that and get back to me. Jacob Poole asks, have you ever had a boyfriend? <laughs> you decide. I think once, back in the fifth grade, um, we ended up breaking up after he got me a Build-A-Bear for Christmas. Sorry, Pat. We have to be friends first. I usually end up falling for my really good friends. That's just the way it is. I'm not one of those people that is just like, ooh, sex, sex, bang, bang, I want you inside me. Ooh, da, da, da. So yeah, I think I had a boyfriend in fifth grade. Honestly, though, that was 
probably the last time. Were you the athletic type in high school? Do you want me to flex my pecs? In high school, I played basketball, soccer, a little bit of softball, tennis. I, I love sports. I really do. I love to watch sports. I love to play sports. I love to watch tennis. Rafael Nadal picks them wedgies. Oh, man. I'd pick him as wedgies for him. Can you even understand what I'm saying right now? What's your favorite type of meal? Meal on wheels! What does that mean? Like breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I love breakfast. You can't go wrong with breakfast. Breaking the fast, like, breakfast foods are the best. But I, Mexican food is good? Like, what type, what are you, what type are we talking about? Popcorn? That's not a type, or is it? It should be. Catherine asks, when did your unicorn loving lifestyle start. Honestly, I think unicorns were just imprinted upon me. Is that a Twilight reference? I really hope it wasn't. I don't think it was. I don't know. I was just born a unicorn. I honestly don't know how it happened or when it happened or how it happened, but I love them. Unicorn loves you. Do you love unicorn? Yes! We've already gone over this. How did you and Dodger meet by Confusion Grows? Uh, we actually moved out here around the same time I moved out here, probably like two months before she did. And when the company, when Maker Studios was extremely small, we were all in like the same like room basically. I didn't know who she was at all. I just knew that she played games and I actually was extremely intimidated by her. There was like a video shoot and she had to drive me there. Holy shitty dicks, this girl is awesome. I want to be her best friend. And then I went home and I stalked her on the internet. It's not very often that you meet someone in real life and then you go find them on the internet and fangirl over them. Usually you fangirl over someone on the internet and then you want to meet them in person. It was the other way around. Hi, if you're watching this, the Game Station is affiliated with Maker Studios. So that's why I know the people from the Game Station. We're all one big incestuous family. Kelly Mango, ooh, mangoes, mangoes are good. Um, asked, what's your favorite Ryan Gosling movie? My favorite is Half Nelson. No, that's not my favorite, that's your favorite. Probably Lars and the Real Girl. Oh my gosh, I love that movie because I can totally relate to having a blow-up doll. Emma McBride asked, do you love One Direction? I like a lot of directions. Probably West and South because those are, that's the soggy wieners, you know? You know what I'm saying? That read soggy wieners, South West. I found this picture where he's like, Holding a koala. They hold, they play with koalas. Qualified cuteness. And Gary Turner. Gary Turner is the one that got me Sporkicorn. This one. What YouTuber would you want to work with that you haven't yet? Well, probably the Green Brothers. Charlie So Cool Egg seems awesome. Olam Rogers, but ultimately, definitely Hannah Hart. Hannah Hart, I know you don't watch me, but I'm cordially inviting you to get drunk in my kitchen whenever you want. Come over. I won't get drunk because I don't drink. I think that was another question that someone asked. Why don't you drink? I just grew up in an environment where no one drank. My dad didn't drink. Being sober, you remember everything, which is great. You have awesome blackmail on most people. It's funny sometimes remembering what other people do, but then it's not. It's kind of creepy because guys think you're really drunk and try to like, you know, pop boners on your back and you're like, hey, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Thanks for scarring me. John Hemmerich asks, you only get one band to listen to for the rest of time. Who would you pick? Oh my gosh, I hate questions like that. That's way too hard. So I want a band with a lot of songs because I don't want to get bored, but then if there's too many songs, I'm going to get anxiety because I don't know what songs to choose. Maybe Kings of Leon because they have so many albums that are just diverse in style. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to have her baby. Like Britney Spears, her album with She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cries, cries, cries. And the I created a fan club for her when I was younger. Now I was the president of the fan club and the only member because I was the only one allowed in in my room. Catherine asks, what you gonna do with all that guac? I'm gonna make you, make you gawk, make you gawk it all, my guac, my guac, my guac, my guac, my guac, my cool and creamy guac. Check it out. I'm gonna stick my brock, my raw brock in that guac. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll make a freaking burrito with eggs in it, scrambled egg guac burrito. Laura Alwyn asks, what are your dreams goals? Did you always want to do YouTube? I really just want to help people. And if that's through making them laugh, I love to entertain. I love to make people happy. And that's, if I can live off of that, it would be amazing. I can't right now. Um, I don't make money, but 
I would love to. If dreams came true, I would want my own show. And it would be like Chelsea Handler meets Ellen DeGeneres meets Rachel Ray meets Jillian Michaels meets The Amanda Show before she got really drunk and ran her car into another car. It would be like all of those things. It would be like the ultimate jizz show. I would cook. I would, I would do exercise. I would just... I would talk seriousness, so maybe a little bit of Mari in there. No, not Mari. Oprah. I would have guests. I would have unicorns. I would dance. That's what I would love. I would love my own show, my own sitcom. And this is kind of what I have right now. My channel is my own show. So that's why I do YouTube. It's like a great platform to do what I want to do. And it's a little stepping stone to hopefully someday be bigger than this. Because... I'm not really getting anywhere and if this doesn't work and I have to go back to school maybe I would a therapist or a nutritionist so I can talk to people and tell them you know you know you know that they're not alone and everyone goes through these struggles and we can pull through it together like I just want to inspire people honestly I want to inspire people and however I can do that then then I want to do it that way so if it's on YouTube, then I'm going to stay on YouTube. Plan on staying on YouTube forever anyways, or until they shut it down, or until the zombie apocalypse happens. This is already way too long. Ah, Jizz Ball, you have to stop me. Woo! Yeah. All right. Let's do this. I already did it. I'll probably do this again. Maybe if you leave questions in this one, I'll try to make a, another Q&A next week. Probably not. These are hard for me, guys. <laughs> the most thumbed up questions, thumbs up the butt.